hi in this video we are going to see about getting information from a database uh, we are going to use ms access uh, in this previous video we discussed that how to create the ms access by using uh, that ms access uh, we created one table in the table we were entered many data uh, by using that data uh, we are going to retrieve only the data which we need to display on the screen we are going to perform this task by using query by example uh, and we are going to write a search criteria uh, in that table we created uh, for a cup scout details personal details here we are going to write a search criteria for a leader the leader want to know uh, who all were having birthday in this month so to do that uh, we need to set up a query by example to do uh, we want to open that file what we were previously uh, created and saved in our computer so go to the location where you have saved that previous file double click that one when you click that it will open in the ms access so go to create when you click create you will get the create ribbon in that ribbon you can see query design when you click this query design it will uh, show a table list dialog box in this table list dialog box you can see uh, how many tables are having in this um, total project actually we have only one table so only one table is listed in it so select it and click add and close this one once you do you can able to see like this appearance uh, the table having these are the fields these all are fields in this field uh, we want to uh, think about what search criteria we want to write what search criteria we want to write means um, we want to show only the name who are having birthday in this month but if we want to know their names depends on the condition uh, we need to have data birth of the cup saver once you select the field name as well as data birth then only we will know in this uh, by using the data birth we will know this month who are having the birthday so we want to uh, include the name as well as data birth in our search criteria so we going to see there uh, after adding that table we having the list of the field which have in the table go to the field area select the field by clicking this down arrow when you click down arrow you will get the list of all the fields will come up here in this place here you want to select name so once you click the name the name will be appears as well as the table name also appear table name is cub here you can see the cub is the table name so that the cub will be come in this place you have to be very careful that um, the c is small here c u b all uh, characters are small that same have to be right or it want to be if it comes there then okay then we want to show only the name so put a tick mark there then again we want to select another field that is data birth so a drop down boxes came there you have to select the data birth once you select the data birth only the data birth will be seen in this place but we want to consider only the month so we want to write here month in round bracket and square bracket starting uh, write that data birth and finish that square bracket and round bracket so by that way we want to create a expression then only it will separate only the month from the data birth and uh, in that criteria uh, we want to write month of now of that means only the present month uh, is uh, present in this data birth list then that will be show up only the name okay so after writing all this go to run and click it then only you can able to test that one so the expressions are once again you can see clearly what are that there uh, 
expression month round bracket square bracket date of birth square bracket close and round bracket close month now off okay once you write that then click that run button once you click the run button you will get uh, who the names who are having the birthday in this month okay you can see here name only the name field is showing who the birthday person is only fiona so you can see only the person who having birthday in this month so after doing that save this query and right click and save uh, then you can give the query name can be birthday or something then put ok then uh, it will be saved that uh, query